What up, everybody? Yeah, that's not why I start these things. No, it's not. It's about the VRB. Welcome to the VRB podcast. I'm Sammy Cohn. I'm Ashley. And I'm Jim. And before we get started in probably what's going to be one of the most ridiculous conversations, I'm sure, um, just an update on everything that's going on in VRB over the next week for the holidays. Um, This is the only product you'll be getting from VRB. Kind of sad, but everybody's away. For holiday, so yeah. yep. We have families too, internet. Yeah. We, we do. Too. Some people Everybody's love us. It's crazy. Yeah. So um, there's that. That's all I had to say. Okay. You sure. last last episode I started off, but I know that you had something to chat about because we never are planned for. I do this. well, no. and and this is I, I had actually this is I'd, actually hanging out with us. Yeah, this pretty much. Pretty much exactly. So always go. So so I, I had actually stopped myself um, earlier because we were having a conversation before the cameras were rolling. And I just word vomited um, uh, penis and vaginas in my butt at the same time, and and so what? and so I it made, it made me think of a story. Have what? have either of you two ladies ever had somebody try to insert their testicles in you? Hell no. Yeah, it's fucking painful. I don't know why I tried to do it, but have you? I mean, you just seem like you've done some weird stuff. Just for the like, just for the the fun of it. Just because, just, just to see. Like, I want to see if it goes. Just in. yeah, see if it happens. No. See, now you're gonna be thinking about it, right? I would be thinking about, it, but it's just they're just weird. <laughs> Men are so, are so horrible. <laughs> you're not a fan of balls? No, God, no. They're disgusting uh, and ugly. Dude, no offense, men. There, it's so creepy. Well, I mean, <laughs> like, yeah, like, it's, I don't know. I mean, I don't they're know, so man. sensitive. Oh my God, no, God. So, like, so balls, balls can be fun that. too. Balls need love, I just mean, like the wiener yeah, needs love. But no. Jim <laughs> got the green light to talk sex. <laughs> He Apparently, comes in, like, <laughs> he comes in guns balls. fucking blazing. Balls and vagina. I, well, I mean, I think it's good because we have. I, I really like the podcast is very open, and you can just say what's on your yes. mind, you know, and not censor yourself. And I'm glad that's what was on the. I tip finally of your tongue. the tip. Of my, I have a forum now to speak my mind, oh, Jesus, and the no. thing that is you on my it? mind. No. I did not no. before. I mean, I'm not going to like go into the community Discord and just be like, "Hey guys, balls and vaginas?" Question mark. Like, I'm not going to do. Like, I. I I love the community, but I'm not going to just do that. No. I am no. so happy that it is a conversation. I don't know. The more, it's just, it's such a common conversation that I feel like either men have at some point or any women that have had three drinks and they're alone. Like, it always <laughs> comes to the conversation of, like, some sex, you know? Yes. It's like a conversation everyone has, but it's so taboo to chat about. It's so... It's ridiculous annoying. to me. I don't understand. Well, it's it. It's because as as a culture, like America was founded by the Puritans, which are a bunch True. of prudes. We so, still have a lot of that. So yeah, yeah, yeah. That a lot of that has carried over. There's a lot of prudish behavior, and so mm-hmm. and and but you know we're also trying to be respectful. So if somebody has these you know preconceived notions of like that's taboo, I don't want to talk about that. Then like don't listen to us. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. First off, don't uh, NSFW. You're not gonna like us, us. but yeah. <laughs> We need to start titling these Nazis. Yeah, yes. don't, don't, don't blast this uh, uh, from your cubicle. Don't do that. <laughs> it's already too late for that morning. Yeah. But it's too, too late. late. Too but what's so time. great is that I have guy friends and girlfriends. I know mm-hmm. a few girlfriends that do not are not friends with guys. It's the mm-hmm. guy that they date and that's it. And I'm like, you yep. are missing an entire world of like just ridiculous chats and like things, mm-hmm. their perspective, like that's such a like tribal thought to not want to be friends not that they don't want to be friends with guys but it just hasn't happened they haven't had a I, I'm fortunate to have guy friends yeah. well it's I'm not trying to judge people but women who are either only friends with women or only friends with men there's something weird about that <laughs> like it there yeah. just is like if you can't talk so like if I hate all girls because they're all drama. Okay, maybe you're the problem. A. (laughs) What's the common denominator? (laughs) If everyone you meet is an asshole, you're probably the asshole type situation. Yeah. But B, like, you should be able to talk to a man besides when you're fucking him. Like, (laughs) let's be honest. Which usually there's not a lot of talking going on. Yes. So you should be able to speak to men. I'm in my Lakers jersey. You know what's up. Let's just do this. (laughs) Very hilarious, Jam. Very hilarious. <laughs> but no, like, I like that's I, good, and I think that's great that we have a guy friend. Yeah, yes, that's, that is married, but can still chat about things, and yes, and well, I can still chat about things, and you, it's yeah. nice. It's good to have a friendship like that. Well, I mean, oh, yeah. speaking speaking from 
experience oh, of wait, oh, let me say something about the okay, you yeah, have for... to know beforehand that the other sex is comfortable. Oh yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Both sex. Before you're just like go up to a girlfriend and you're like, yeah. so I got this issue. I want to stick my do- balls in this girl. I was gonna say dolls. <laughs> I'm gonna say, but you can't just do that. Like you have well, no boundaries. Well, well how 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 yeah. long was it before like I, I said anything like really inappropriate? I mean I said weird shit because I just I say weird you're shit. Weird, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but, but like how was it inappropriate not we had yeah, not, it, we were comfortable with each yeah, other. Exactly. For sure. Like yeah. it's all about finding in that right you moment never, and be like, you know what's a great thing to talk about well, with these two ladies? I don't think you ever made it what could be cons- like construed as an appropriate comment until we all made an appropriate <laughs> yeah. it's like, well, stuff. It's and you're like, okay. Your toe in the yeah. Water, it's like, you start they small. Okay? You it's bring like, up like anal actually, and then you can go shoot. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> like the, the, the perfect thing to bring up is pubes. Make a pube joke because like it, that's that's a little off color but it's not like you're it's not, not like mentioning far. yeah, you're not mentioning specific body parts. I'm not like, hey, so do you shave or wax? But like, you know, I'd be like, oh yeah, like, you know, sometimes, you know, like uh, my, my opener is usually like, I have a, a gray pube. I will actually multiple gray pubes. Like, and I've had them, I've had them since I've had pubes because I have, I have vitiligo on my leg. Like the okay. Michael Jackson disease that he says he has. I actually have that. So do you have a spot? Yeah, and and oh my God, that's yeah, so cool. and it, like, I've seen women with this. Spot yeah, there. and part of it goes up in my scrot, and like the, the hair there is so technically I have gray pubic hair. Oh my god, oh. if I had that, I would grow it out just to know. Like, well, I mean, I grow my pubes out anyways because I, mean, I just don't dude. care at this point. But like, well, you're married, yeah. Yeah, it's just just let that shit just go, man. No, that's married a really cool men don't spot to have that, and I don't yeah. mean that in like a creepy way. I've seen women with it, and I think it's beautiful. And like when I'm younger, yeah. they're like, I've tried to dye it, it doesn't go away, and it's there, yeah. and I'm like, I think that's a, it's like a beauty mark on in your hair. I think it's so. Yeah. So so I don't know so about that your pubes, but so, I, mean, so, I assume that it's still it's similar. yeah. I mean, so that's a good opener, <laughs> I guess, you know, for pubes, like, yeah, sure. You t- talk about pubes a little bit, and if they if the crowd seems okay, and then and like you, you can opener. go a little bit well, further. You, when, when your brain does the things that my brain does, usually I have to like <laughs> figure out how to like navigate socially. I was listening mm-hmm. to a podcast recently about Andy Dick, and apparently he makes oh, very like asshole. he makes comments very like just. Whatever, and then mm-hmm. someone was saying that comedians do that because in general, because yeah. that's what a comedian is. You know, you you break the ice on what other people don't well, want to say, and it's kind of uncomfortable but, to get a laugh. But, but the way the way that Andy Dick bad, does it so. is, yeah, a- a- Andy Dick does it just for like pure shock value. There's absolutely no thought that goes into it, and but isn't Andy Dick like a really bad person? Yeah, he's, he's a anyways. horrible human being. Yeah, so that's the difference. And, and the but way yeah. that he does it is he just like like he doesn't go with the flow of the conversation. Like it's just like a random ex- exactly like like which I had is off like balance. You? Yeah, well, no, I had a lead in for my balls in the vagina thing because I I was like, hey, like we had, we're talking we were earlier. talking about pegging. We, yeah, so. and, well. Well, I mean, we were also talking about that, but we can, and if you want to get to that, we can get to that. But, so, um, but like, it, it's, there's a natural flow to the conversation. Andy Dick's the kind of guy that just walks in the room and is like, balls, am I right? And was like, we're over here talking about like fucking yeah. anything else. Talk about just, someone dying, but sure. Yeah, yeah. It's fucking, like we're at a funeral for fuck's sake and you just want to talk about balls. Well, I really enjoy just talking about freaky things like that. I also think there's always a point to like learn something from it or it doesn't feel educational yeah. and then I feel like we've just been sitting here talking about like I don't know I yeah. learn a lot when I'm talking like crudely to mm-hmm. my friends because well, I'm like oh really guys yeah, like, there's what? a whole you know? wild world of kinks <laughs> out there learning. yeah I convinced a friend to try anal. <laughs> really? That's yes. great. Oh my lord. So I did. Are you, you're an advocate. You're an yeah, anal advocate. Apparently an anal I am. Advocate. Oh my god. <laughs> you're in a, you got the chip. <laughs> so my friend and I were drunk one time. And we were talking about it because she asked if I've ever done it. And I was like, yes, and I again obviously same, same drinking and then yes. you're alone and then sex came up. Yes. Yep. I was like, yeah. I mean, who has it? That was my she's like, no, and I so I convinced her to do it. Her Boyfriend, I'm not gonna go any further. So anyone who knows me can deduce who this was. Yeah. Texted me, he goes, "Thank you for that." Oh my god! You know what's hilarious is the entire time I've been watching Jim and he's in back, like I gotta get this chick in a room with my girlfriend. Like, <laughs> my god, this needs to happen. <laughs> Talk to her. That is so funny. I think that that's great to be an advocate. But then well, again, well, I've been trying at work, and so you gotta try. <laughs> I'll sell her. It's fine. Apparently, I'm good so at that. Because again. I'm, I'm so sorry to be hard on this, and I feel like I've said that before. But, like, how do you know? You you don't know how to be vulnerable and... Yeah, you have to be very to vulnerable. Be, yes, that's a very vulnerable thing to try something that you've never done. And, and, and sexually, that's even... You're ready, more. yeah. No. So the more we talk about things, I think we'll be all happier, you know? Yeah. Yep. What if the people that aren't happy that they're having sex just, like, haven't hit the right, you know, like, right thing? You never know. 
you Good never question. Until possible. you start talking about it. Yeah. And you're like, sure. So I, I think, think it's very important. I think, I mean, if, if, if we're on a campaign for anal advocacy here, um, <laughs> okay, I, let's I think, do it. I think a very <laughs> important thing is going to be like hygiene and sanitation oh, awareness. Absolutely. Right? Because like, like you, 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 you start that and like, I, 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 no, I'm not a woman. No. Uh, and so, but like, I, I know for me, it's like, I mean, like, I'm clean down there, but like, am I clean? Am I clean down there? You know? And so, like, is that like a thought? Like, if some dude came up to you and was like, could ever be as clean as you yeah. want it. Yeah. Like, you so, have so to go get a bleach and then go. So, so is that yeah, something that like, goes through your head when it's like, hey, do you want to try anal? And it's like, I don't know what my butt looks like. <laughs> You know, which okay, but I mean, see, you have some <laughs> other issues with your butt. <laughs> Did you hear that? Don't have. Okay, good. I'm, I'm He's got issues so with his butt that most of us. Okay, so have you ever shit yourself while you're sleeping? Have I ever what? Shit yourself while you're sleeping? No. Okay. I've never shit myself while I was sleeping. Because Baby Crow did that head. last uh-huh. night, and we were talking about it. I go, I bet James has. <laughs> well, I mean, okay. Baby Crow is but, a like, baby. Like, like, yeah, She's not when, really when I was, a baby. But, yeah, when I was, like, baby age, yes. Well, yes, of course. But, but I mean, I, like, do you, I mean, I like, you meant, like, recently. Up. Yeah, no. like, as an adult. I never, never, never as a grown shit up. my diaper. No. Okay. That's like the people who say they never ate a boogie. Yeah. They never shit my diaper. It's like you weren't in control of your anus. You didn't know what that muscle was. You just, shit just came out. Like, come on. Which, oh, no, not gonna but I, I still stop myself. I stop myself. Oh, good job. Good job. <laughs> I see a line. I won't cross I, I'm I not have going to cast that one. I, I did um, for the longest time, and I've always been pretty open about this, especially with guys I was dating before I was married, um, that I pee the bed when I had been drinking for a while. And it wasn't, it wasn't like I was blackout, like really drunk and couldn't control myself. It was just a weird thing. Just, you were comfortable, and you were like, no, fuck no, it, I'm no, just going to do would, it. I would lose oh. control of whatever... The muscles down there. I don't know. Do some fucking kegels. I I guess, but I would I would just I'd wake up and it would be like ever flow and I'm like I'm eating like oh my god what the fuck Hmm. such a weird and I would do you know how many like weird awkward mornings that has made like hi I peed your pet I'm gonna (laughs) go you know go now. Or just sneaking out. Yes, yeah, I would oh, just have oh, ran. This bitch pissed my bed. <laughs> I would have ran. Oh my god! Do you at least leave, leave like change on the counter for a cleaning fee? Like here, just no. rent yourself well, a rug doctor. No, but I've gotten <laughs> it's it's happened so many times that I'll give you two stories. One, my friends would actually blame the other friend who I came home with. Like, <laughs> well, you didn't. You knew she was gonna do it. Why didn't you make her go to the bathroom before? <laughs> It was and I and I wake up the next morning like yeah why didn't you make me go before you know like it's not yeah. my fault and then the one morning I had done it in a hotel so I I, I didn't want them to know so I like cracked open a, a, a can of Mountain Dew took a sip pour a little and then called oops I spilled Mountain Dew all over my bed <laughs> I'm so sorry because I had to stay there that night what do I do I pissed the bed I'm I was like a 23 year old <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I peed the bed, and I wasn't that drunk. It was the weirdest thing. I don't, don't have kids. I don't drink really. Don't have kids. Um. Yeah, yeah. I I, I heard I, I heard from Eric bad. that you get okay with pee and poop real quick. You have well, that not even that. I've pissed myself since I've had a child. I heard about that too. Yeah, um, especially the first like mm, oh. two months. Oh my god, no! It does. You don't know. I so, saw a really fucking funny ad about that actually on it's Facebook horrible. of all places. But it was like sometimes when you use your hoo ha as a human water slide, like you can't control your pee. So like here's <laughs> yes. the and like I thought that was like great because you know it's it's like it you happens. said yeah it happens yeah, it and so just not talking about it doesn't do anything to solve the like, problem. Like oh my gosh, I peed myself. Even I when I would do jump rope. And I think that's why I have something is wrong because I would do jump rope and I would happen. And I'm oh, like, oh god, like, actually, oh, you are screwed. Right I never had issues I know, since I've had the baby. If like, I sneeze sometimes, I fucking pee I'm just a little. I'm, eating, so, like, I'm sorry, I gotta go. I already but. pissed. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go right. So, now. so I've never, I've never shit myself, but I do actually have a story. Um, There's kind of recent. So I was I was at I was at this concert and we were in the nosebleeds and I am just obliterated drunk. Why like, does every story is drunk like so super super parts. drunk? And this I is actually text someone my address, so uh, I'm not ignoring you. Okay, please. no worries. So it was it was a it was a very recent concert and like I spend the entire time in the concert throwing up into my like beer cup and like I I may have spilled some on some of my fellow concert goers, but I'm just like Ugh, and it's like those like forceful ones, you know? Yeah. Oh, and then I had somehow convinced myself that I had shit myself. 
But like it's in the middle of this like fucking really long set, and I couldn't like get up and go waddle over, and I'm not gonna stick my hand in my. You were out like two weeks ago. Yes. Oh my god. I was I was like convinced that I had fucking shit myself, and so so my buddy who was with me, thank God he was there. He like guides me by the hand in the bathroom. He's like, "You gotta pee. Let's go pee." And I'm like, "Oh shit, he knows I shit myself. Like I can't smell anything because I'm too drunk." But okay. And so I, I wind up I, I get I get in the in the stall because I'm like I need to like check things out. And like, first off, I really had to piss. So I'm just like peeing and peeing and peeing and peeing. And then afterwards, I'm like, I need to check if I shit myself. Right. And so I'm just kind of like drunkenly like shove my hand down my pants and just like roughly like checking. <laughs> but like, I was, I, was, I was essentially just like fucking molesting myself. Like, is there shit here? I can't tell if there's poop. And thankfully there wasn't. <laughs> Thankfully there That's wasn't. Like you hate fucking your ass. Yes, yeah, yeah. Which is a whole other. There's a whole other bag of worms there. Hey, uh, it's Christmas Eve. You want to talk to me about Christmas? Oh, oh God, we're still on the Christmas Eve. <laughs> I'm sorry, no, no, Santa. No, no. Oh, God. We are all we're getting all fucking cold. It's Christmas Eve and James molesting his asshole. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jesus. We are so. We are so fucked. So Christmas Eve, great fun. I hope everybody's hanging out with their family. Yeah, don't don't listen to yeah. their family again. Yeah. Too late, but don't listen to their family. Come on, I just found these guys on the internet. I like them so much. You should listen. Hey, Mom, I was listen in the to vagina. Funny poop himself. So funny. I don't know. I think that laugh is all. <laughs> so oh my God. Funny. Anybody have any Christmas Eve traditions? I don't have any for Christmas Eve. Um, get Chris- drunk and avoid going to church. <laughs> <laughs> the midnight mass. Oh my! The we, worst. We and to- I'm Catholic. So, Fuck. so um, I lived in uh, uh, Marrero, Louisiana, which is like a suburb of New Orleans for yeah. a while, and we used to do midnight mass at uh, the French Quarter, like. Okay, and French it's Quarter, this, maybe not so bad. Yeah, it, it, it was it was this like really like beautiful cathedral, but there was so many people trying to go there that there was always this like huge line down the block. And uh-huh. in New Orleans, I mean, they when you know in like two thousand two thousand one, they had a really really bad homeless problem. They probably still do. I mean, if we're being honest with ourselves. And so you know, like we're, there's people just kind of nervously <laughs> singing Christmas carols, and hobos passed out in their own puke and piss, like just like right next to us, like oh, Merry fucking Christmas, like. It was like traumatizing so as a kid. Yeah, and then like you walk in and there's this like like big like cathedral with the stained glass windows and it was oh it's okay forget about the hobos outside we're not doing anything about that but yay Jesus like and that was kind of like you know what somebody went to see the Pope on Christmas did you Rome. really did Which you go to the Vatican um Pope uh, the current Francis, one the current one right? I've only, he's a cool Pope I've never met Pope John um, Paul John Paul. I wish, because I mean, See, God, my family loved him. Pope Francis. The Polish one. The Polish Pope. But there was hobos. All Wait, no, Pope over. Francis isn't the current Pope, is he? There's another one. Pope, not, no, not Francis. Pope. Yeah. What is his name? I'm a horrible Catholic. Oh, my. Love him. Bad Catholic. I love him. The you know what? One? If you feel oh guilty right now, then you're a good Catholic. So, um, I, yeah. Uh, it's ingrained in me. <laughs> oh, do you not think I don't feel guilty <laughs> for the things I've already said tonight? <laughs> Wait, did any of you have, like, a grandparent that... I mean, I grew up Catholic as well, but you'd have your gray mom that, like, does go to church every Sunday. Yes, and my dad's parents. And you're walking in, and it's crowded. It's like, fucking think they're Catholic, so fucking come to church on fucking Christmas oh, and Easter. Yes. Last day. And you're listening, and you're like, you're in church. Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don't say fuck. Chill the fuck out. I mean, Jesus chill yeah. fucking Christ. Fuck these fucking assholes. <laughs> Okay, my grandma wasn't that bad. That's because you're from Philadelphia, though. That might have been it. Jesus forgives the Philly. Yeah. He's like, oh, those fucking dicks. He's like, it's Philly. It's good. We're good. Jesus forgives the Philadelphians. Tell your Christmas story about the presents. I don't want. That's a sad story. Oh, that's depressing. No sad stories. He's, so Francis. He's the cutest little thing. Look at him. He is adorable. He is so nice. I wanted him to touch me so bad. Like. No. Okay, okay all right, okay. hang on. Well, Back it's the Catholic off. Church. Let's not oh, say oh, that. Oh, oh, Pope Francis, do you make uh, Pepe wear a funny hat? Yeah. Like, <laughs> so bad. folks, like, touch you when you're, like, when they're coming by. Yeah. I was so close, and he didn't touch me. But that, you know, a lot of people that have said he has touched them, they're, the like, has life has just been filled with, like... See, when well, we went to the Vatican, <laughs> when I went to the Vatican, it was John Paul was still the Pope, because oh, yeah, this no. was early 2000s. I went to Italy, and... We didn't, we saw a mass and 
My mom almost got hit by a car. Oh my god! In, Rome. in the Vatican. Where was the guy? Just was outside there. the Vatican. Like Jeez. she was like crossing the street, and then we wound up not going to mass. Oh, the, well, the- Horrible Catholics. That's my. That really describes my family. <laughs> Bad Catholics. Oh well, I mean, one Catholic is like. There's not very many Catholics out there that are like amazing. I don't. I can't think of a single one if except I for the Pope. A, if I was a murderer, I'd want to be. Ca- I'd still be Catholic. I'm like they forgive me. Oh yeah, they mind. absolutely forgive you. No, they like that, cool with it. That, that's all Christianity. It's like as long as you're like, oh, sorry, Jesus. Like right before they kill you, you're no, good. I did go to a Lutheran high school. I'm that's true. I'm breaking all my rules right now because I have a rule that I don't talk religion or politics. Yeah, we really that's shouldn't good... be talking religion. So let's take away the Catholic. Oh, okay, we're not talking <laughs> no, about Catholicism. But no, anymore. going to Rome was amazing to me. I well, yeah. went back quite a few times. We were just there last Thanksgiving and went back and saw the Vatican. Must so be like, nice. The Vatican's one of my gorgeous. Favorite places to just roam through <laughs> <laughs> for the day. That's funny because when I used to visit Seoul too, I used to say I was soul searching. Jesus, Jimmy. I know you and I your make puns, all and I make them on Facebook, and now they show up on the time hop. And you're just oh like, my oh god. my god, the, time, I'm a terrible yeah. human. What were these puns? Time hop is the reason why I don't go on Facebook anymore. I hate time like, hop. Like, Who the fuck was I? Eating? Yeah, because like, yeah, like ten years ago, I was like, oh, I'm so dark and pretty. Check this out. I'm gonna taste oh, yeah. this giant yeah. fucking. Thing. Yeah. I was like, oh my god, I was like a fedora wearing neck beard. For God's sake, how did this happen? <laughs> oh my god, wait. Were you on incel? Our incels? I was not. Never on our incels. No. <laughs> Damn it. No. But I mean, I did. I did have a trilby at, oh at a certain my. point. And, and you uh, just called it a trilby. So and that says a lot. A yeah. It, it's it's what I everybody thinks is a fedora, fedora. But it's yeah. But also, like, it was it was a trilby in combination with the fact that I thought that I could grow my hair out, but it was too curly, and also, like, I wound up chickening out halfway through, and I cut it when it was about here. So it just went around like this, and I looked like a giant walking penis. Did you ever meet girls? Somehow. I have no idea how or why. Well, the, back then, that was, like, the, the like... I looking guess. like a dick? Well, yeah, apparently. There was, such, there was a time where I was really attracted to people who looked like they were about to die, like, overdose. Like, scrawny and, like, uh-huh. weird hair. I mean, it does explain why Johnny Depp was still popular, like, ten years ago. Because yeah, yeah. that's what he looks like. But like no, I, 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 well, I don't really give a shit about Johnny Depp. So I never had you. that heroin chic. Because, like, I... I heroin chic? Because, no, because, like... You got cheekbones no. here on well, your... I, got, I, yeah, like the Macaulay Culkin cheekbones. Yeah. So he's but, got those. Yo, God. But I, I was that skinny at one point. But, like, I, I don't like clothes that fit. Like, to this day, I don't wear clothes that fit. And so, like, I just would, like... I looked like a little stick man, like, that somebody had crudely oh, drawn clothes do. around. <laughs> You yeah, know, really baggy dogs. Yeah, because I don't enjoy when things are tight on well, me. They're like holding me. Thing, just yeah. wait it out. Fashionable. It's, no, just it's just a sensory just, thing, right? Like yeah. art is really sensitive. Yeah, it's it's stuff, absolutely so like I, I yeah, like my uh, family is actually on the spectrum, and I haven't been tested, but I'm fairly certain that I am as well. But. Yep. So that makes sense. Yeah, it's just a sensory thing. That's probably but why I talk it's about it. It's coming back around. It is. It's coming back. It's, yeah. You it's know what? fashion. It's going to come back clothes. around. Well, no. See, I just don't have the common sense to, like, actually own a belt that doesn't, like, break every 10 seconds. So that's why belts I walk around with. Yeah, belts are dumb. Yes, but, like, my out. my lack of an ass is always <laughs> hanging out. Are you the real no butt slut? Yeah, no. Yes. I'm, yeah. I, clearly. Did I mention that in this one? No, Last one. one. My old was, or was that two weeks ago? Wink. One week. Wank, it it wank. happened in the past. <laughs> we the know no that. You're the no butt slut too. Yeah, I'm, well, I'm the no butt not. Uh, I'm not getting laid enough to be a slut. I guess I don't know. Well, you marry, you can't be a slut. Yeah, I mean you that's can, true. Well, I mean you could, you, but you're you, not. Yeah. There's. I don't, like there's like you got really sad. Would, it would, did. Late in your marriage, is that a question? Well, Let's, not talk, Let's not talk about that. That one. <laughs> Let's just say my right arm is way stronger than my left. But um, <laughs> no, not because of that. Jesus, what's what is your tongue doing in that situation? In that scenario, because I get this is dicks. Wait, what's that? Did you just have a dude you're just no. tossing his salad. Right, always make fun of me. Like, this is Eric actually when we were at Syracuse. Eric doesn't know how sex work, I don't no, think. No. I would be like, what are y'all staying around circle jerking? And they're all like, whose dick is that tall? And I'm like, like, you guys all stand around and like do this. And it's like, whose dick is are we on pedestals? Oh, like just gosh. jerking each other off. I'm like, oh, who's every other, you know? Like, like, and help each other. Apparently I don't know how a circle jerk really works. Apparently you don't. Because I'm like, yeah, well, you guys just uh, here. Let, 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 let me, would you like me to explain? I, I've never played this game, but this is something that has been you talked about. Soggy Biscuit. Oh, soggy God, Biscuit was exactly so what I was going to talk about. Have you heard about Soggy no, Biscuit? No. Okay, all right. Soggy so, Biscuit. Oh, my God. So, soggy yeah, soggy cookie, soggy biscuit, same thing. Oh, God. So, 
So you put a you put a cookie and or biscuit in the center of a group of five no or more friends, ever male friends. Yeah, I, I'm sure at some point. No one ever there's, played. There's we at just least been a porn podcast, made of it. So apparently it's gonna be soggy biscuit. Yeah, soggy biscuit the podcast. <laughs> Anyways, so you you put a cookie down in the center and you have five dudes, at least five dudes, jerking off in a oh circle. Oh my god, no. aiming at the cookie. Why five? Why not four? Well, because it needs to be five five because five, five minutes. minutes. Oh, <laughs> so you, then then they're all jerking off, and the last person to finish, which for straight males is kind of a hard thing to do when you got like all your bros like <laughs> like it's not an easy thing to do. I would think it's easy. And everybody has to try and spooge on the cookie. The last person to spooge eats the cookie. Now here is here oh is my God, no. here's my thing. Okay, if you're in that scenario. Do you finish if you're the last guy? Because you know that like you're gonna have to Fuck eat no. the fucking cookie, so you're like no. adding more. No, no, no. I'll but do you try and like? Question. Do you try and knock the other guy's spooge off? No, my question. Yes. Is, do you do you play defense? Like dead puppies, dead puppies, dead puppies, <laughs> or like grandma, your mom? Your grandma. Yeah. Do, you know, like, is do, it, yes, do I have time for one more story? Do I have time for one more story? Ask the producers. Do I have time? I have time for one more story. So yeah, but the, the key is that you would get off because you wouldn't want to eat the cookie. That's your motivation. So you just start ignoring everyone. Yeah. All right. Okay, so. You just got to start touching all the other dudes and then <laughs> they won't die. That's exactly it. You just start going like so, this. So, so, there's, there, there are times in a man's life when he gets boners in inappropriate times and places. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The inappropriate That's, boners. Oh, yeah. So, and I don't know about it's these two gentlemen, but I have, I, I have a, a thing, a very specific moment in my life that it's I think of. A funeral. The thing is your penis. No, what? No, no. <laughs> I know. I, it curves like completely around. I don't know. But no. So, <laughs> so, so I have, I have a very specific moment in my life that I think about to get rid of inappropriate boners. I call it the, the thing that gets rid of my inappropriate boners. It's, I know. Apt title, Dead right? Boys. No. So, um... I don't want to know. I, I, I lived on a farm for a while with my Aunt Mary. And um, she had a tank, I shit you not, of flesh-eating beetles. And what she would do is, like, she would find, like, roadkill and, and like, like animals out in the woods and shit and chop them up, put them in the, the tank full of flesh-eating beetles. They would eat all the flesh off, and she would have, like, the bones and stuff afterwards. And it was, like, really cool, right? So, anyways. No. No. Definitely not. This, I mean, this, really how, do you cool, think, right? how do you think the bones that you see in, like, the shitty, like, Texas gift shops happen? It's the same thing. It's I mean, I beetles. don't look at, I don't go to shitty, okay. shitty Texas so, gift shops. So, anyways. Um... We have like a neighbor down the road a bit that has goats and one of her goats dies during childbirth. No. I know it's a sad story, but she's like, would you like this for your tank of flesh eating beetles? And my aunt's like, yeah, of course. People know she has yeah, this. Of course, it's, 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 it's small all, town, people talk. all of the flesh. So, so anyways, one day goes by, no dead goat. Two days go by, no dead goat. Three days go by, still no dead goat. And we're like, I don't think this goat thing's gonna happen, guys. On the fourth morning, at like five in the morning, we hear a car door slam and somebody drive out of our driveway. Just we go outside and there is this dead goat that has been dead for four days. I which, thought you were going to say it was a human. No, 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 no. not a human, just a goat. A person. Oh my God, but would that work? It, yeah, of course it would work, but it was just all bloated and nasty. So we had to first, because it's a smaller tank, we had to dissect <gasps> this thing to get no. it to fit in, right? No. So, me being the badass that I'm at, I am, I'm like, I want to cut its fucking head off. Yeah, I'm cool. And my aunt is, meanwhile, working on dislocating its hind legs. It bursts. So, oh my God. It bursts. It bursts. So, I'm, I'm oh cutting God. off this thing's head, and right as I saw through its esophagus, my aunt starts stomping on the hind legs, oh misses, God. hits the stomach, and four days worth of vile putridity <gasps> just come flying up at me, completely oh covering God, me. No. I puked on the spot. That's yeah. not the thing that I think of, though. That's your dick killer. No, that's not my dick killer. <laughs> How is that so, not your dick killer? I, because it gets worse, believe me. So anyways, <laughs> we've, we've, I'm like, fuck it. I might as well at this point because I'm covered in vomit. I might as well just keep going. So she what? takes all the guts out, right? And she's like, take these guts out to the woods and uh, and dump them dump them far enough away from the house where they, we don't get coyotes or whatever. So I'm carrying this like slimy, nasty, fucking rotting thing. And I'm carrying it like this because it's heavy and it's like right in my face. And as I'm carrying it, the liver slips just a little bit, and I see a mummified baby goat that was the reason why the mama goat died. And it was just staring up at me, and that moment is the thing that instantly kills any erection I've ever well, had. I'm pretty sure it's going to kill any erection for every person yep. who watches this. everybody's dick killer. Yeah. yeah, yeah, so just think about that. we got to wrap it up. Oh, we're done. Merry Christmas. Merry, oh, oh God, Merry it's Christmas. the Christmas one.
keep forgetting. Merry, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, guys. Happy holidays. We're sorry, Santa. We love you, guys. <laughs> <laughs>